Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So what we have here is uh, orthographic project 3B. Now, contrary to belief, this one's actually much easier, in my personal opinion, than 3A. Uh, so let's get to it. So first, we're going to create our orthographic projections. Our height is 2.5 inches. Our width is 5 inches. And our depth is 2.5 inches. We're going to use a space of 2 inches, OK? So I'm going to drag this over here. This is what it should look like. So I'm going to delete all this and start over, OK? All right, so first things first, I'm going to take off my ISO draft. All right, I'm going to start off with my X lines. Change over to my construction layer property. Type in X line. I'm going to draw a line here, line here. Now, I'm going to offset. So, I'm going to offset the vertical line first. So, this goes over by the width. The width is, again, 5 to 2. Depth of 2.5, right? Now, I'm going to go up. At the height, which is 2.5, space 2, depth 2.5. Okay, then I'm gonna do another X line that's gonna go from this edge right here to this edge right here. Now I'm gonna trim. So we got our nine boxes. Get rid of that. Okay. Now I'm going to trace out <clears throat> my top left hand corner, my bottom left hand corner, and my bottom right hand corner. Okay. I'm going to go over to my object layer property. I'm going to go to line, and I'm going to start tracing. one there we go okay so after that I'm gonna start offsetting I'm gonna minimize my screen I'm gonna put this here so we can see it start off with my top layer property. I highly recommend you guys get the circle going first. So I'm going to offset. I'm going to offset this line over by 0.75. The diameter is 0.75 inches. So I'm going to offset these by the radius, which is 0.375 inches. Okay. I'm going to offset this line. This one is 1.25. Then I'm going to offset this by 0.375. And this way by 0.375. Okay. Now I'm going to create my circle. Uh, this is 0.75. There we go. Okay. You always want to make sure it's within that square. All right, now let's continue. So I have to get the change of depth right here, right? Now we don't necessarily know the change of depth, but we can calculate it. So I'm bringing up the calculator. The change of depth. Is 
is going to be, this right here is 0 0.75, this right here is 2.5, so I do 2.5 minus 0.75, that's going to be 1.75, okay? So I'm going to offset this by 1.75. Uh, I'm going to trace this line. I'm going to trace as we go. I personally like to trace at the end of it, but that's perfectly fine. I understand if you guys don't like to do that. Now I have to offset. I'm going to offset this line that we just made by 0.75. I'm going to offset this line by 0.75. Uh... I don't think we have any more horizontal offsets, I'm sorry, vertical offsets to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start offsetting the vertical line, I'm sorry, the horizontal line. So I'm gonna offset this line by 0.75 and we're gonna trace it. So if you can see, we get this section or cutout right here, right? Now, we also have to offset this down by 1.5 for this change of depth. So that's gonna be this line right here, down 1.5, and it's gonna be right here. It can get a little confusing because of all the lines right here but just make sure you're following where the offset ends because you don't want to trace this line, this line's for the circle. Okay, so now we have this right here. We have this change of depth. We have this change of depth line right here. Um, looks like we're good. We, I'm just gonna shut off the construction layer properties and I am going to trim this portion right here. Uh, looks like we're good to go. Let's move on to the next layer property. Again, I'm saving the hidden lines and center marks all the way for the end. Don't worry about that. Dimension is going to be in the end as well. So if you look here, this gives us an idea of where our circle is supposed to be, right? So we know our center line is going to be this line right here. Our hidden line is going to be right here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset by 0.75. Get that line okay I have this offset here I have this offset here I have this offset here so I know I have to create a line from here to here okay I also have to create a line here another line right here okay I also have to go down uh well up 1.5, right? So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna click this bottom line. I'm gonna type 1.5. That's gonna be my change of depth. Right there. So I have here, right? I have this space cut out. I have this change of depth. I have this L. Now, I'm going to turn off my construction layer properties, and I'm going to trim. All right. Oh. All right, there we go. So, now, we have to do the right side. The right side's a little tricky, but it's all good, okay? I'm gonna offset this vertical line by 1.5, right? Now, we already have the 1.5 offset here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a line from here to here. Oh, I gotta change this over to my object layer property. Sorry about that. There we go, okay? Now, we also have to make sure we get our circle. So I'm going to offset. I'm going to go 
1.25 away. So I'm going to offset by 0 0.375, then also by 0 0.375. Right now, let's not confuse this line with this line because remember, this is where we offset to get our 1.5 to get that diagonal line. Okay. So now uh, we have to offset, or we actually don't have to offset. We can just create a line right here because we already offset uh, the 0.75 from this space right here, okay? So right now we're showing this face, we're showing this face, and we're also showing this corner. So turn off my construction lines. I'm not going to trim that because that is a whole cube. If you look at it right here, there's a diagonal cut, but you can still see that in the background, okay? But we also have to make sure we have this line right here, this 0.75 line. So I'm gonna turn back on my construction layer properties. I'm gonna offset by 0.75. And that's going to be a hidden line because we still have to make sure we're letting it be known that there's a, a cutout right here. Okay. All right. So let's go back to the first one. I'm going to go to center. Actually, no, I'm going to do my hidden lines first. Okay. So my hidden lines, I'm going to go to my front layer property. Now we got to use draw this line. I gotta draw this line. And we're gonna go to our front layer property, right? Now, how am I gonna remember? Let's say if I forget what line is what, all I simply have to do is go right here. You see where it breaks. I know this is my center line, right? Now I can just go from this line right here to where it breaks. I know this is my hidden line, okay? Also, I, I would know because this is gonna be my line for my 1.5 offset. Same thing for the other side, because remember we have that 0.75 offset, okay? So, uh, I will go here, where it breaks, boom, okay? Oh, sorry. There we go. All right. So after that, what we're going to do is we're going to do our center lines So and center marks. So what we do is we go to our center layer property, annotate. I'm going to do a center mark first. There we go. Then I'm going to go center line. I'm going to hit this hit a line, this hit a line, and then this hit a line. And this hit a line. All right, one thing I did forget was the hit a line for this portion right here. So I'm gonna go back to my hit a layer property. I know it's this line right here. Go all the way down, okay? Now, let's do the isometric drawing. All right, so do the isometric drawing. I'm gonna bring it right here. I'm gonna to go to my construction layer property and I'm gonna create a bounding box. Remember, the bounding box is defined by my height, width, and depth, okay? So I'm gonna go right here. Uh, I actually forgot I have to, sorry. I have to turn on ISO draft. Turn on ISO draft, I click right here. Now, I go to line, I'm gonna go up uh, 2.5, go across five, down 2.5. 2.5, five. Five, uh, 
25. Okay, so now that we have our bounding box, we know if we leave that bounding box area that we're wrong with our measurements somewhere. 